The Calgary Stampeders defense really stifled Anthony Calvillo in the Montreal Alouettes offense last week. So what are the chances of them doing it again on Saturday? Well, they feel pretty good about it. The Stamps D really came up big in Montreal, holding the Owls to one major score. Montreal got their other touchdown from a blocked punt. But after giving up an early TD pass, the Stamps didn't allow the Alouettes into scoring position again. And that made for the second straight week that Montreal has struggled to put points on the board and has many people wondering what is wrong with them. I've always seen uh, Calvillo playing him these last couple of years as he gets the ball out of his hand pretty fast and in these days he's been holding on the ball quite a bit you know and he's not used to holding on the ball that long you know and I think I don't know if it's the offense they're running you know what I mean they're just guys are not getting open fast enough but uh, he's usually a quick release guy quick thinker you know what I mean we're talking about the the guy who holds the record for most passing yards by a man who ever throw the football so you know you don't usually see that you know type of frustration. You know, to put together put together a whole game like that, like we did last week, is uh, pretty motivating for the defense. Can you and how will you uh, keep Montreal to only one offensive score again this week? Uh, that's the goal, but, you know, they're going to come in, they're going to game plan for us, and, uh, you know, we'll be ready to go, and uh, we'll give it our all. So, you know, the point, the, the, the goal is of the defense to put zero on that board, not seven. So, you know, we'll see what we can do. It's the Stamps and the Alouettes for the second consecutive week. Game time is 5 p.m. at McMahon Stadium on Saturday, and there will be a special tribute to Jack Goda and Bill Powers at that game. Grey Cup 101 is sold out. The remaining tickets were sold following a 101-hour lottery and consisted of approximately 5,000 seats. This sellout occurs five months before the nation's largest annual sporting event, which will take place on November 24th in Regina. A Lethbridge hockey mom is reaching out to help other families impacted by the flooding in High River and Medicine Hat. Laurel Pickles has started a campaign to gather 50 sets of hockey equipment to donate to flood victims. Pickles moved to Medicine Hat after living in Lethbridge for 35 years, but she is currently back in the city. While her son attends a summer goalie camp, Pickles is looking for donations of new gear or used gear, gift cards or financial donations. Her goal is to have enough equipment to outfit 50 players for this fall and, if possible, pay some of the registration costs for the families. I was planning my summer. I was buying gear for my son and um, honestly, it makes me tear up because I was just sad. I was sad thinking of how many kids aren't able to step on the ice this fall because they may have lost everything. And mom and dad are, you know, obviously busy with insurance and rebuilding homes and, and maybe hockey's the last thing on their mind right now. So I thought I could do this for everybody. Now that is a great hockey mom. If you wish to help, you can contact her by cell phone on her Facebook site or email Laurel at goalieslife at yahoo.ca. The Lethbridge Giants are in Windsor, Ontario this week for the Canadian Big League Baseball Championships. The Giants are off to a 2-1 start at the six-team tournament. Their first loss came this morning as they dropped a 12-9 decision to Quebec. They take on host Windsor tonight. The Champions Tour comes to Calgary in just over a month's time, 39 days in fact. And a major announcement was made today regarding that event at Canyon Meadows in Calgary starting August 26th. PGA star Fred Couples will be in the field, and so will Canada's Dave Barr from Kelowna. Barr was at the golf course today as they put on a bit of a fundraiser for the Child Advocacy Centre and Kids Sport. Barr was given an exemption to play in this tournament because he's not an active player anymore, but he really wanted to take part. The last time I played the Champions Tour event was the uh, first year that Montreal got theirs. So it's kind of nice to be part of the inaugural event and uh, hopefully kind of the last kick at the can. I mean, I'm still maintaining a, a plus one, plus two handicap at home, even with my bad knee. And it was scoped just over two weeks ago. And so it's just starting to come around. And so by the end of August, uh, I should be ready to go. And once again, the Champions Tour event at Canyon Meadows in Calgary goes August 26th to September, to September 1st. It's an 81-player field. There's your sports. Coming up next, Pets of the Week when we come back.